Hi. I follow you on YouTube and watch like almost uh, all your videos. Yes. And you have a million views, but what advice can you give for the people who just start their YouTube channel and want to get more views? Yeah, you know, I think that a couple things. I think the first one is that you really just got to start, you know, and start before you're ready. And you have to acknowledge this fact. Your first videos are going to be your worst videos. You know, I've posted a lot of videos and people see my videos today and they're like, maybe I make it look easy, maybe I look comfortable on camera. I've actually posted over 2,000 videos online. And I've done it for other people. I used to make, in 2003, I was doing weekly videos for my youth group in church. This was before YouTube even started, so that really helped me learn video. And I had to get through those ones where it's kind of awkward and I wasn't confident on camera to get to the place where I was confident. And so you really just gotta start Get as many videos out as you can. You know, there's a person in our industry named Gary Vaynerchuk. A lot of people know him. He wrote a book called Crush It. And uh, he's pretty well known as a social media influencer. But what people don't know is that he had a show called Wine Library TV. And he started shooting five days a week, his show, every single day. And he committed to it. And he says it took him 50 videos before he found his voice and started feeling comfortable. But it took him a year, five days a week, an entire year before anyone started watching before he was getting views, before he was getting traction. So I think that a lot of people, people just stop and that's it. they stop, yeah, they stop after two, three weeks and they're like, oh, you know, yeah. I gotta give up now. And it just, I think it, things take longer than we think they do. So you gotta be patient. You wanna keep start, keep posting. But then the second thing I would do is keep learning. As you're posting videos, consider it practice. Consider like, you're just figuring it out. Don't be so concerned with the short term results. Be committed to the process, but then keep learning. That's what our channel, mm -hmm. Think Media, our Video Influencers is all about. It's helping people learn the best tips because I've been doing video for 15 years. I hope to help people's learning curve be much shorter than that. And so whether it's our YouTube channels, read books, you know, go to conferences. You're here at Social Media Marketing yeah. World investing in yourself because mm -hmm. you know the value of learning. And if you keep doing, keep posting videos and you keep learning, then you're gonna do great. And over time, you're gonna get results because you're practicing as well as perfecting and you know, learning the best practices of what it takes to crush it with video. And uh, that's what it takes. As I understand, uh, you are familiar with the nonprofit. You said you did the videos for use. Uh, what, what is your advice and tips like for churches, for nonprofits, for their media t uh, teams? Well, I actually um, wrote a book called YouTube for Churches. It's on Amazon.com. Oh, wow. And so that's definitely a great resource to check out. That. Thank you. Yeah, and so uh, check that out on Amazon. In fact, there's also a free video series. It's four videos at YouTubeforchurches.com. And that'll help too. But my be biggest advice for churches is number one, that they should be using these platforms. You know, I just talked to somebody who's a marketing director at a, a very large church, extremely large, one of the mm -hmm. most influential churches in America. And they're not even using YouTube now. They've been using Vimeo, which is just not where people are. It's not yeah. where the attention are. It's not where things are happening. So I think you have to buy into the fact that this is a way to reach people. They said that people anyway visit their churches, why they need that. Exactly, there's kind of a mindset, but you know, when I think about it, I like to think my personal faith is I'm a Jesus follower, and people, have, remember those bracelets that said WWJD, like what would Jesus yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I really think it's, I, I like to think of like, what social media platform would Jesus use? And I think you'd use YouTube, why? Because that's where people are, there's over one point three billion active users on the platform, 1.5 billion, and so there's people there, and Jesus is about reaching people. So as churches, ministries, nonprofits, we should go where the people are, and the same thing is true. I think that churches should be thinking, what are the best practices? Not just throwing a message up there and hoping somebody finds it, study. Go to, go to a conference like this and learn how to title your videos, do thumbnails, optimize the description. Those little things matter, and you, you don't learn them overnight. So commit to a process of, let's really learn these new tools for getting our message. You know, the message never changes, but the methods change. You know, it used to be radio, it still is, it used to be television, but now there's digital media, and I think churches and um, nonprofits should be on the forefront of using these tools. So dive in, use them, yeah. and build your influence there. And show example, not be like the last one. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you so much You're for welcome. your advice. We'll follow you, follow your new videos, and Sounds we'll good. advise. Yeah, thanks.